Hello everyone and welcome to our new video. In this uh, video we are going to discuss about the Jenkins dynamic slave configuration on the Kubernetes cluster. We all know that the Jenkins is the most popular, uh, popular open source tool uh, for the build and deployment. So we can uh, use the Jenkins for building and deploying our applications. These applications can be written in Java, Golang, so Jenkins can work with the different applications to build and deploy them across the multiple environments. Now Jenkins architecture is little different when we talk about the Jenkins running inside the Kubernetes. So you can use the Kubernetes cluster to configure the Jenkins slave to be created dynamically and because the Jenkins slave will be created dynamically on the multiple nodes, so they, Jenkins will always have the sufficient capacity and your jobs won't have to wait for the executors and it won't be undergoing the pending state when you execute the multiple jobs simultaneously. So this is the additional advantage of running the Jenkins inside the Kubernetes cluster. So we will be seeing how we can leverage Kubernetes to allow the Jenkins to provision the slaves on the multiple machine, that is dynamic slaves. Now, uh, all the configuration that we are going to do within setup, I will be documenting that inside the GitHub repository. So you can visit on this GitHub repository and refer to the configuration which we will be using. Further, I will also be including all the commands which will help you to replicate the same in your environment. Setup is having a lot of steps to be performed like uh, we will have to install Docker, we will have to install the uh, Minikube cluster uh, on which I will be installing but the same installation is valid for the Kubernetes cluster as well. I have already included the Kubernetes installation and configuration on the machine which you can refer from our channel. Otherwise, you can also use the Minikube if you are just doing it for the test purpose. Then uh, once the Minikube has been installed, we will install in the kubectl. Then we are going to install the Jenkins inside the Kubernetes. So we will be creating a deployment and a service for that. And in after that, we are going to configure the Jenkins additional plugins, uh, such as uh, a plugin called Kubernetes, which is available inside the Jenkins. We will be using it to create the dynamic space. Then we will be doing the dynamic configuration. And lastly, we will be mod modifying our deployment file so that it can dynamically pick the IP of the slave on which it gets deployed. This is involving number of steps. So I will be dividing this video in the multiple parts, usually focused around achieving the major milestones for getting this setup up and running. Kindly subscribe to our channel to get all the parts for this video delivered as they are published. Thank you everyone. Ending the video now.